Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week I have a super easy TV watching crochet stitch pattern for you. This is Stitch of the Week number 259 and it's called the Twin V Stitch. So let me hold up my first sample. It's just a beautiful pattern. It's easy, it's fun, it's fast. Now the multiple for this stitch pattern is four, but you must make a chain of 12 or larger for the pattern to work. So this is my first sample, and this one I use four different colors. I am changing colors in every row. Now for this sample, I use Lion Brands Baby Soft in four different colors. And this yarn is so wonderful. It's soft, it's easy to use. And the only thing I did with this one is when I pick my colors online, I picked the pink, but it almost looks white. So I think I wish I would have ordered the darker pink, but because I ordered the lighter pink, I'm gonna use it in this design. But isn't that pretty how the stitches look? So that's my first sample. Now for my second sample, I used solid white, but I used a cotton instead of acrylic. So I used the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. This is a wonderful 100% cotton. It's a number four medium weight yarn. And if you like to make dishcloths or anything like that, you may enjoy the stitch pattern for a dishcloth. So this is what it looks like in pure white. My third sample, you cannot see the design as much when you're using those multicolored yarns, but because fall is coming, I chose the Premier Basic Multicolor in this beautiful fall colorway, and this is Color Harvest color 1177-01 Harvest. So if you want a quick and easy fall afghan, then this is a great stitch pattern to stitch up with those fall colors. So that is my third sample. For today's crochet tutorial, I'm going to be using the Lion Brand Ice Cream Roving Yarn. Very soft, beautiful yarn. And this is one of their newest colors. This is Strawberry Shortcake, color number 6181. And I'm also using a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. Now on the label, it does recommend a size K, 10 and a half, or 6.5 millimeter. Now, when you make something with yarn, you can look on the label for the recommended hook size, or you can change your hook size to get the gauge you want and the look you want. I want my stitches a little bit tighter, so that's why I drop my hook size down. So you can use whichever hook size you wish up to the size K, 10 and a half, or 6.5 millimeter. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. So let's begin and we're going to chain 20. 20 is the multiple of 4 times 5. So yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook. This creates your first chain. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Continue until you have 20 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back, I have my 20 chains. Now because my yarn was a light color and I have a white table, I went ahead and put a blue backer board so you can see the stitches better. So now we're ready to begin row one. For row one, you're going to yarn over, you're going to skip one, two, three, four chains and into that fifth chain you're going to work a double crochet insert into the fifth chain yarn over pull through that chain you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops you just made a double crochet we're going to work one more double crochet back into that chain so let me show you one more time how to make a double crochet yarn over insert back into that chain yarn over and pull through you have three loops 
yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a double crochet. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your skip beginning chain four, which counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. And then you have two double crochet all into that fifth chain from hook. You're going to work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. And this is where we get the name twin V stitch. You have two double crochet and two double crochet side by side. So now we're going to start the repeat. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat. Work until I say this is the end of the repeat. And you're going to do that across to the last two chains. So let's go ahead and begin the repeat. You're going to yarn over skip the next two chain, one, two, into that next chain, work two, double crochet. One, and two. Now we're going to work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two, and that is the end of the repeat. And again, you can see the pattern with the twin V stitches. You have two double crochet side by side in two chains. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two chain into that next chain, which is the third chain, work two double crochet. One, and two. Work two double crochet into the next chain. One, and two. And again, that is the end of the repeat. So we have one repeat to go. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over. You're going to skip one, two chains into that third chain, insert your hook and work two double crochet. One. And two. Yarn over into the next chain, work two double crochet. One and two. And again, when you look at your work, you can see how your pattern is forming as you have two sets of two double crochet across with two chains in between. So if you're working on a wider project, then go ahead and continue working the repeat across your work until you get to the last two chains. So to finish the row, we're going to skip the next chain and work one double crochet into the last chain. So row one is finished. And now we're ready to begin row two. Now row two is our repeat row, so it's a very simple pattern, and you just repeat row two until you get your project to the length you want. So let's go ahead and begin row two. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the first stitch because the beginning chain three counts as the first stitch. Now, if you're new to crocheting, then put a stitch marker in the top of your first stitch and into the last stitch of each row. We're going to skip this next stitch. And when you look at your work, you're going to have four double crochet. We're working two double crochet into the center two stitches of each four double crochet group across. So yarn over, you're going to skip the next stitch into that second stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, into the same stitch, work your second double crochet. Now we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of that four stitch group. 
one. And two. Now we're going to start the repeat. You're going to skip the next two stitches, which is the last stitch of the current group and the first stitch of the next group. And then we're going to work two double crochet into the center two stitches. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, one, two, into that next stitch, which is the second stitch of the four stitch group. Work two double crochet. One, and two. Yarn over into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the four stitch group. Work two double crochet. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, which is the second stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One and two. Yarn over into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One and two. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, which is the second stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, and two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of that four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So if you're working on a wider project, then go ahead and continue. Skip two stitches, work two double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Skip two stitches and work two double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to work across until you get to your last double crochet stitch of the last four stitch group and your ending turning chain. To end the row, we're going to work a double crochet into the second chain of that skip four chain. Yarn over, count up one, two, insert into that second chain and work a double crochet. Row two is finished. You can see how your pattern is starting to form. So I'm gonna go ahead and because this is a simple stitch pattern, I'm gonna show you one more time how to do row two. To begin row three, we're just going to repeat row two. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. Your beginning chain three counts as the first stitch of the row. So you're skipping this first stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch, which is the first stitch of that four double crochet group. And into the second stitch, you're going to work two double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the top of that second stitch, work two double crochet. One, and two. Yarn over, insert into the top of the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, and two. Now we're going to start our repeat. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, which is the second stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Yarn over, skip the next two stitches, into the second stitch of that next four stitch group, work two double crochet. One, 
and two. Yarn over, insert into the top of the next stitch, which is the third stitch of that four stitch group. Work two double crochet. One. And two. And that is the end of the repeat. So we have one repeat to go. You're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches into the next stitch, which is the second stitch of the four stitch group. Work two double crochet. One. And two. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the four stitch group. Work two double crochet. One. And two. And that is the end of the repeat. So again, if you're working on a wider project, just continue working the repeat across until you get to the last double crochet of the last four stitch group and your turning chain. To end the row, we're going to work a double crochet into the second chain of that ending turning chain three. You're going to yarn over, count up one, two, insert into that second chain, and work a double crochet. So row three is finished. This is what your work is going to look like. So to continue working on the pattern, you're just going to repeat row two over and over until you get your project to the length you want. Now, as you keep working the pattern, you're going to see how beautiful this stitch pattern looks. Now, I do think that the three lightweight yarn has a more delicate look to it as you're working. So this is a baby afghan that I'm starting, and I just think it's turning out really, really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial. Please remember all my Stitch of the Week patterns are free. They're available on my website, creativegrandma.net. You can go there, click on Stitch of the Week banner at the top of the page. You can scroll down, you can print one, you can print them all. It's just a great way to start your own little library of stitches. So you can get creative with multi-colors, or maybe you just want to use that solid color. So all kinds of possibilities when you're working these stitch patterns to really get creative. So thank you everybody for stopping by. Please make sure you hit the like button. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone.